Hello everyone. So here we are with type two of conditional sentences in a past form. And let's go through the examples so you will understand the structure better. Okay, we have olsaydı olacaktı. It means if something happened, like in the past, something would happen also. Example, kardeşim gelseydi daha güzel olacaktı. If my brother had come, it would have been so good. Okay. In uh, some of the translations, I have uh, translated the um, sentence into past perfect form, like English conditional type 3, uh, because I, um, I can understand that like this sentence is much more closer semantically uh, to this type of translation. Because this is usually uh, used for that kind of uh, context that has happened in the like far past or something. Um, and yes, I think this is better. And the reason of this translation with this grammar is uh, not really the grammar, it is the meaning. Okay, this uh, structure gives a better meaning to this type of sentence. Okay, olsaydı olmayacaktı. Like if something happened, uh, the result would not happen. Param olsaydı iki yerde çalışmayacaktım. If I had money, I wouldn't work in two places. Okay. Olmasaydı, if something didn't happen, olacaktı. Something, the result, uh, would happen. Sen olmasaydın, if it was not you, or if you were not there, çok zorlanacaktım. It means, if you weren't there, uh, I would have lots of difficulties. Zorlanmak means feeling the difficulty of something. Like somebody uh, really finds it hard to do something. That is zorlanmak. Olmasaydı, olmayacaktı. If something uh, didn't happen uh, the result wouldn't uh, take place so we have siz olmasaydınız if it wasn't you or if you were not there uh, başaramayacaktım if it wasn't you uh we couldn't have succeeded. Okay. Olsaydı olurdu. If something happened, the result would take place. Param olsaydı çok güzel olurdu. If I had money, it would be great. Olsaydı olmazdı. If something happened, something else wouldn't happen. İşi olsaydı, if the person related to the context had a job, sokaklarda gezmezdi. If he had a job, he wouldn't hang out in the streets. Olmasaydı olurdu. 
if this, if something didn't happen, this result would happen. Mesaj atmasaydın eğer. By the way, eğer means if. Uh, so when you have the suffix of uh, sa, um, I mean the suffix of if here, uh, you can use ar or you may not use ar. Uh, the important thing is that this suffix gives the meaning whether this word is used or not. Okay. Mesaj atmasaydın eğer çok üzülürdüm. If you hadn't sent the message, I would have been so offended. Üzülmek means being offended. Okay, we have olmasaydı, olmazdı. If this didn't happen, this wouldn't happen either. Sen olmasaydın. Yapamazdık. If it was not you, we couldn't make it. Olsaydı olabilirdi. If this had happened, this could have been happened. This is may or could like having a possibility here. Eğer gel, gelseydin, eğer gelseydin, birlikte gidebilirdik. If you had come, we could go together. Gidebilirdik, we could go. Olsaydı, olmayabilirdi. If this uh, had happened, this wouldn't have ha ha happened. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, you got it. Uh, eğer olmasaydın, eğer almasaydın, sonra bulmaya bilirdin. If you hadn't bought it, almak means buying something, you might not have found it later. If you hadn't bought it, you might not have found it later. Bulmaya bilirdi. Olmasaydı olabilirdi. Söylemeseydin eğer daha kötü olabilirdi. If you hadn't told that, it could have been worse. Okay, as you see, I'm trying to find the most daily and common examples. I hope it's understandable and I'm sure you may use these sentences in real life because people here do it a lot. Olmasaydı olmayabilirdi. O gün almasaydım sonra bulmayabilirdi. If I hadn't bought it that day, I might not have I might not have been able to find it later. Yes. <laughs> I'm looking at the words here, but like we have all these words in one word using suffixes. Like this is the negative part, this is might not and this is like past form and this is the subject you know okay and all of these are fit into these two words amazing anyway let's continue olsaydı olması gerekirdi borcu olsaydı o da ödemesi gerekirdi if he had debts, he would have to pay. Olsaydı, olması gerekmezdi. Yeterince parası olsaydı, if he had 
enough yeterince miyiz? Enough. Money. Aa, borç para alması gerekmezdi. If he had enough money, he wouldn't have to borrow money. Okay, not have to is gerekmezdi. Olmasaydı olması gerekirdi. Gelmeseydin eğer bizim gelmemiz gerekirdi. If you didn't come, we had to come. Olmasaydı olmaması gerekirdi. Doktor söylemeseydi yapmamanız gerekirdi. If the doctor hadn't told you that, you wouldn't have to do it. Doktor söylemeseydi. If the doctor hadn't told, sorry, hadn't told that, something that is the sub that is the um, issue here yapmamanız gerekirdi you wouldn't have to do it does that make it clear anyway So, guys, I hope uh, the examples uh, were clear enough. If not, please uh, write me in the comments that which part you didn't understand. Uh, I did my best to uh, clarify uh, these sentences and the structure. Uh, I hope it was useful for you, but if you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask. I hope uh, when you see these uh, sentences in daily life, when you hear them, um, you understand them and also you respond them because this is the goal of the language. Okay, so have a nice day. Good luck.